Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine. I have a little visit. Uh, I guess I should start with a Corona confession today. Um, follow up to my very first con confession. I'm still sticking with the no bra thing. And it's going really great. I, I gotta say. <laughs> Happy no bra camper here in uh, on the North Shore of Lake Ontario. Um... Oh, this next Corona confession is uh, something uh, you may not know about me, but one of my subscribers, who's very observant, noticed when I was reaching over one day to get something. I love wearing fun necklaces, and I will wear a fun necklace every single day. No matter what my outfit is, I will put on a fun necklace to go with it. So today's fun necklace, hold on is this funny little guy. Hold on, I guess I'll have to take it off. I, and as ever, I find my necklaces at, at thrift stores. Um, this one I've had for years. Oh my goodness, this one I've had since my children were babies. That's how long I've been thrifting. It's made out of clay. And it's got sort of a cord string. It's, somebody obviously has made it. And it's this kind of wacky looking guy with a great big smile. It almost looks Central American, and I like them. <laughs> so that's today's fun necklace that I'm wearing. And so that's a little uh, a little insight into me. I've always got a necklace on, and it's usually fun. It's very, very seldom it's a delicate feminine kind of necklace. I have a few. My husband um, does like to spoil me, but I'm, I'm not really an elegant person so for me I like a fun necklace oh, where am I putting that away for I need that all right so what I've been doing <coughs> oh speaking of husbands I love him did I have I said that I love him because I do love him. even if he didn't bring me chocolate I'd still love the man but the man brings me chocolate so and I don't care if it's 10 30 in the morning there we go All right, where was I? Oh, I've been fuss cutting. Sorry, I've been crunching. I've been fuss cutting this book. I'm not sure if you remember it. The Forgotten Household Crafts by John Seymour. And it's just chock full of uh, pen and ink sketches and drawings. Of old things. It's just marvelous. So I have been fussy cutting, not watching the news. I I do watch the news. I don't believe that it's helpful to uh, bury your head in the sand, but I'm not obsessing about it because there's nothing I can do to change things except do my part. And my part is stay at home. If I have to go out, wear a mask. Stay six feet apart. And encourage other people to stay at home. Don't be wandering around stores because you're bored. If you need food, get in, get out. One person go, not the whole family. Um, yeah. Anyhow, so. So when I'm not watching the news and I'm watching something else that's fun. One of my latest favorite comedy shows is Schitt's Creek. I don't know if any of you watch Schitt's Creek. My goodness, that show is hilarious. Anyhow, look at these beautiful little pen and ink sketches. I'm probably going to use quite a few of them in this new Dickens book that I'm working on. Oh my goodness. These are just so cute. I love all these scissors. Hold on. Where's all the scissors? Look at all these scissors. Aren't they pretty? Love them. So I'm going to have to get an envelope started for those. Here's my favorite, as ever, Toilet Humor Catherine. I found a page that has all the thunder mugs. So I'm actually going to put that aside because that's definitely going in. Water, uh, water pumps. I have fond memories of water pumps because the cottage we used to go to when I was a child, my Uncle Willie had a cottage up on Georgian Bay. And it was lovely. It was um, surrounded by 
birch bark trees. So the name of the cottage was Silver Birches. And uh, it, we were very fortunate because that cottage actually had a water pump um, in the kitchen. So, and we'd all cross our fingers when we'd get up there that, uh, that when dad primed the pump that we would get water. Because we did have a few times where for whatever reason just no water was coming up. And fortunately we would always bring water in big jugs. But it was nice to be able to use the well water for uh, washing and that sort of thing. But we'd bring home water for cooking with just to be on the safe side. And that cottage also... Um, it had an outhouse uh, out in the woods. <laughs> so uh, at night time, we would have to make use of this sort of thing. But we're under all the beds. And of course, this cottage, the walls didn't go right up to the ceiling. They were just divider walls. Uh, so if somebody was up in the middle of the night, <laughs> you could you usually knew. <laughs> But you know what? Those were the times where families were close. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I've still, as you can see, this book, I am going to be a long time getting everything out of this book that, that I can. I find that the little drawings are beautiful. There's some big drawings, divider type drawings that just are a different technique and I don't enjoy them. Like this I don't enjoy that so uh, but fortunately these kind make more than make up for it they're um, they're everywhere and there's some sepia tone photos that I will also be be cutting out of um, out of this book so and that's not mold that's the well, that's right I don't want to that. it looks like mold but it's not which I rather like. <laughs> I want the back one as well. So if I ever want, if I ever make a, um, if I ever make a junk journal that needs land papers, but I still want them to look old and cruddy, how perfect is that for old and cruddy looking? Alrighty. Thank you, John Seymour. So we'll go back downstairs. I always keep a little fussy cutting station near my end of the couch. All right, now I'm going to try not to bump the camera, but I have to reach over. Oh, rats, I forgot to set my alarm. How long has it been? Eight minutes. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to use my phone. Hey, Google, I want to set an alarm. Set the alarm for 11 a.m. today. Okay, 11 a.m. setting your alarm. Excellent. There we go. All done. So, um, let's put these away. So I got a bit more done on this little Dickens of a book. I reinforced the spine. I used my... Um, my fiber reinforced carpet tape method with uh, muslin fabric. So this is um, this is you can get it at any most hardware stores. I got this one at Home Depot, and I've had this like I said uh, maybe about two years. So you can you can see the fibers in it, and it's sticky as all get out. So it will um, make sure you have nail polish remover or acetone handy because it will stick it will stick the blades of your scissors together. Now where did I put I uh, as ever I changed my mind on my end papers. Uh, I was going through another file folder of end papers and I found the end papers. Uh, leftover offcuts from the opera book that I did, the uh, the guide to opera, and I really love it with uh, this cover. So, uh, and I have more than enough. I just love these blue beads here and the little blue forget-me-nots. 
and it really, really goes nicely with this cover. Isn't that nice? So I think, of course, I can change my mind. You, you know me. Um, until they get glued in, everything's up for grabs. So, so, but for now, that's what I think. You never know. I could put the grungy papers that look like mold in it. You never know. Um, so I got a lot, almost all of the, um, papers folded and ready. This book, I want all of the edges torn. I felt like doing a nearly naked book with torn edges. Now I did want to put in a little, um, page from a flower book. I want also um, a bit of music, and I want a little bit of Sears Roebuck. Yeah. All right. I want some Sears Roebuck. So, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Wow. $1.69 for a wooden chair. Isn't that something? And there's a high chair down here. There's different high chairs. Uh, $1.58 for a high chair. This one's $1.15. It's incredible. Wowie. Okay. Let's, let's do this. So hubby had to go into work today, unfortunately. He's had to go in two days this week, and that's not bad. I shouldn't complain. There are essential workers who are saving the day at grocery stores and, of course, healthcare workers. That goes without saying. Um, you know, they're going in every day and working their dear years off for all of us. And I hope when this is all said and done, they begin paying these people appropriately. Alrighty. Now, I want torn edges. Do I have room? Just barely. Just barely room to tear that edge. I don't mind if it's not quite the correct width because obviously this is also not the correct height so and here's how I do it um, you may have noticed I've got my cutting board out still I really do not enjoy working on a cutting board but it does come in handy when you need things to be even because it's a ruler right in front of your eyes so I'm using my my actual prof professional tear edge simply because it has oh you're trying to slide you little bum um, it has a smaller um, sort of a smaller tear pattern which is what I want all right now I gotta hold this down as tight as I can come on be good don't move, don't move. Yes. Okay. Even paper will listen to a cranky woman. Oh, that looks good. Love it. Um, let's do a bed. The beds are going to go sideways. Let me put these aside. I'm not sure I want to put too much Sears Roebuck in. I really want this book to be, um... Mostly a write inable journey journal. Write inable? You know what I mean. So I'm back to making masks. Now that they know, and I knew it all along, that we should be wearing masks if we are out in public. And um, if you're wondering, I'll post the link down below for the pattern that I like. I've, I've tried several patterns and I found one that I like that works up quickly, uses the least amount of fabric wastage, and uh, 
And if you don't have elastics, don't worry. If you if you can pretty well sew, um, put ties on it. Surgical masks didn't always have elastics. I birthed, I think, my first four children, and the surgical masks had ties. So um, keep that in mind. And now, hmm, maybe I want one side. Um, anyhow, um, I knew right away. I had this gut feeling right away that when they were saying, oh, healthy people don't need to wear masks. And I thought, that does not make sense whatsoever. It's not logical. It doesn't make sense. Because at the very least, it must uh, offer a minimal of protection. And of course, it turns out it offers a bit more. It's not perfect. But I'll take minimal over nothing. So I'm back to selling uh, just some extra masks to have handy. You know, where is my fold? Sometimes I find it hard to figure out where I want to fold. And this is my best way to do it. Is I just fold it. And then I'm going to make this a flip out. Oh, come on. Wow. A brass bed for thirty two dollars. But of course, that back then, that was a lot of money. All right, that's good. Uh, music, where'd the music go? Now, I wonder if this needs, this is from a 1921 book. I wonder if I need to reinforce that. I think I should. Hmm. Let's use you. I might as well make you the right height. Maybe I'll make a pocket. Okay, you know what? I will. Um, how long do I need that to go down? I don't want to bulk it up where the pocket is. So if I fold here. Actually, I could. <laughs> I could do the washi after I fold up to make a pocket. Now, there's a clever idea. I should put the pocket on the other side. Yes, let's put the pocket on this side so that so that my mom's song can have. All right, so I bet this is plugged. I find that my my little metal nib will plug up overnight, and I have to use this longer needle to unplug it. But it doesn't like it. I can't put the needle in it overnight because the needle, um, it's so long it will rust. There we go. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's too late. 
to it. Yes. I just want to reinforce the edge of that pocket. That's better. All right, I'll try you again. I'm not going to sew this paper. It's 100 years old, and I'm pushing its luck trying to make a pocket. So. There we go. That looks cute. Now, I'm going to put the washi on this side of it. Great big thank you to not only all of you regulars who seem to don't mind hanging out here with me. Um, lots of new people subscribing. And I'm happy about it because the other day I was sitting here working and I thought, I should try going live. And I looked into it and um, you need a thousand subscribers before YouTube will let you do live videos. So I need, tell all your friends, <laughs> tell all your friends, <laughs> Catherine wants to go live <laughs> because uh, I, I need about 300 more <laughs> subscribers. We're probably a year away. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's a little crooked. I don't care. I'm a little crooked too. Sometimes your thumbnail is the best bone folder going. Now I want this. I want another tear edge. And then I'm going to have to figure out, I think I decided that I'm going to do five signatures with five spreads per signature because I don't plan on over bulking this, um, this journal. I'll save that. Those little pieces can be, can go on the edges of papers. Oh, you try to be a little stinker. There we go. Okay. Cute. Blue. Yeah, where's my rainbow? There you are. All right. Yahoo. So I got that done. We got a couple of Sears robots. We got flowers. Actually, one, two, three, four. Oh, we need one more fun paper. Hmm. Oh, my gardening book. Yes. Let's use this one. I love this gardening book. You can't even read the, the spine anymore. It is, isn't that pretty? 
uh, a complete book of garden magic. And it's just full of beautiful black and white illustrations. 1948. Look at these. Aren't they great? I want one with lots of pictures. No enemies. We don't need any enemies right now. No garden enemies. Unless you're in an enemy. Remedies. Leaf chewers. No, no leaf chewers. Come on, something happy. Vegetable gardens. Oh, water gardens. That might be nice. Those water lilies look like my tattoo. Maybe that will be a Corona confession one day. Everyone likes hearing the stories behind tattoos. How to locate iris, water and soil preferences. Hmm. I think I need a bigger one. Major spring flowering hardy bulbs. Maybe you. Sorry, I was just looking at those end papers, wondering if maybe those should go in. <coughs> but no. All right, I think I'm going to make a short, a shorter page. Oh, don't, don't be sticking to this thing. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Don't, 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 don't. Thank you. Be glad when I can get this thing off my desk. All right, that's, you know what, I kind of like that, that, that you can tell. I like that. Maybe I'll just tear this side. Let's see if it will cooperate. Dot has deserted me. There comes a time in the year where she'll desert me from my studio up here, upstairs. It can get chilly up here, and I usually will get a little heater going. She loves to lay in front of the heater during the cold months. But once it warms up, the sunshine comes in our front door. And she likes to lay on her little bed in front of our front door and protect the house so she has uh, it's a nice day today so she has deserted me for the front door mm, that feels a little cracky hmm it's in, i find it interesting and um And someone explained it to me. One of my subscribers. Oh, please remind me who you were because you were wonderful. You explained it so well. Um, books that aren't as old as books that are in the 18 and 1700s. Some of the newer books, because they started using cheaper quality paper, um, sometimes that paper can be not, not have aged as well as... Um, Yeah. I'm thinking about making a pocket here while I'm thinking. Anyhow, and clearly this is one of those ones, because although as much as I love all these illustrations, this paper isn't as good, and it's only a 1948 book, so that, that's not really that old. 70 years old? That's not bad. I mean, this, this little baby is probably 130 years old, let's cover. So 70 is just a pup. I thought maybe I could make a pocket, but you know what? I think that's just going to do fine just the way it is. All right, let's just, uh, let's just trim this as is. Where do I want it? There.
So I thought I'd do a little bit of work here on Little Dickens. I'm washing some more fabric. Um, even though I find my fabric at thrift stores, um, sometimes uh, it still feels brand new. I mean, I wash everything anyways, but I found some more that I had. And so I'm running, I'm running some more fabric through the washing machine. I just figure why not freshen it up. It's going to be going on people's faces. And uh, oh, here we go. Yes. How do we at? Yeah, we're at 30 minutes. Well, that stinks. Oh, there's Dot. <laughs> um, anyhow, so, um, so I've got fabric in the washing machine. All right, so I'm going to sort these out because I do think... Oh, hold on. You're going in. You're going to be going in, and you're going in. I do think I'm at my limit because I do want to put a little bit in here. So that still gives me room that's a good little angle all right well thanks for uh thanks for hanging out with me this morning and i hope everyone is uh is doing well i hope you're staying safe and uh and we'll talk again tomorrow oh wait 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 good news oh how much time have i got um i got an email from my mother's um nursing home and uh the staff member who they thought had been exposed to COVID, turns out, first of all, the patient tested negative, and then the staff member, they got tested as well too, and uh, that person was also negative. So, so far, <clears throat> so far they're keeping their lockdown secure at uh, my mother's nursing home. So that's good news. Excellent. Ending on good news. Take care, everyone. We'll talk soon. Bye.